What's going on everybody? Today on J Ideas Fresh Produce, uh, I've got a little question about how I find my chops. So I'm going to go through that, going to see my process, and see what I look for. So let's do it. It's beets, not vegetables. Meanwhile, back at the lab. Alright, this question was brought up by DP, longtime viewer of however long I've been doing this consistently for two weeks but uh they asked how i chop stuff up so i've got a sample here it's uh ashford and simpson and here's the record that's really it's follow your heart this is what the song is it's really the only like slow jam on there and that's Typically, what I kind of look for, uh, anything like disco-y, uh, anything like super up-tempo like that is kind of kind of difficult to sample sometimes. Uh, that's, as with anything, it's not a hard and fast rule, but typically for the, like, the, the type of music that I do, I like to uh, keep it pretty, pretty slow tempo a lot of the time so yeah uh, I'm gonna switch over to this view here so basically just gonna go over the the process of what I do I'm gonna go ahead and play the sample and really what I do is I just kind of listen for cool parts and just stuff that I like and I just pick that out and really just place it over the the 16 pads it's really not a exact science or anything like that for me at least and a lot of times if there's a part in there that can be looped i'll loop it uh but other than that generally i tend to chop it up into individual pieces so let me stop talking let me get into uh how this sounds Like that, uh, like this beginning part right here, that could be, if you wanted to, you could loop this up and that would be, that could turn into a dope beat. But for this, like all that. And obviously what I'm trying to do is find parts that kind of match rhythmically, uh, melodically, and this gets way easier the more you do it. And at first, if you're first starting out, like trying to chop up and try to, try to make beats, you might have to think about it a little bit harder. But for me, if I wasn't doing this, I would just go through it and then just pick out that parts and be done in like a minute.
any type of like transition moment in the song, I try to like get that in there too, just because it sounds interesting. And anything that sounds like a word, uh, that kind of helps too. Uh, DP also asked if I do anything about snares and kicks and drums and stuff like that. Uh, this song is probably a bad example for this. Because, yeah, there's not any drums in here at all. But I, I do worry about that a little bit. Uh, I try to chop them up in what's called uh, the transients. Uh, hey folks, Editor J Ideas here, and I just tried to explain what a transient is, like, super badly. So, I just grabbed the definition from Google. It's basically the start of a waveform. So, yeah. Shit, I'm terrible at theory. Uh, on all those points, there's gonna be a kick, there's gonna be a snare, there's gonna be another kick, and there's gonna be another snare. The majority of the time and I, at least on four four songs and i do try to chop my samples up on those points again if it comes down to it a lot of this stuff is it depends i mean with all art i mean it, it really you can do whatever you want really so i know that's not a super definitive answer and a lot of people don't like those type of answers, but I mean, it, that's what it is. You might wonder why I'm skipping all that part. It's mostly just because I've got a lot of those vocal chops already in here. And if it was something unique, then I would use it, but they're pretty similar. So there's no real reason in my thought process to do it again. You know what I mean? So. So at this point, I generally get some drums. Uh, let's grab some of those. Pretty basic. And I'll set my tempo. Uh, I'll set it around, let's go 87. Pretty standard tempo of what I start out with a lot of times. And I'll set a pattern. A lot of times I'll just make a four bar or a, actually just a one bar loop. Alright, 
So now I'll go back in here and I don't know why I start with the drums. I guess it's just to get an idea of how the final beat is gonna sound. But now I'll just go in here and start playing around with stuff. And if I don't like anything, or if it just doesn't match melodically or rhythmically, rhythmically or anything like that, I'll change the tempo or I'll change the, uh, the pitch of the sample, usually in the group right here. And, or I'll go in and just find another chop within the edit toolbar of the sampler. So like I said, it's not an exact science or anything like that. It's just basically just playing around and having fun with, with music. So see what we got in here. Yeah, I think that sounds pretty tight. And you don't have to use all 16 chops that you have in here. Uh, if you only use two of them, I mean, a lot of times that's that's all that's all it takes. And it, you can actually, you don't have to fill out this whole pad section. I just like to do it just because I have options, you know what I mean? If you want to just find four chops and then just save the rest of your pads. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I don't know if it does anything in the software or anything like that, saves data or whatever, but probably does. And that's why my computer's full of just junk. But yeah, you can do, do whatever you want. So now I can go back in here and like say if I wanted to add like a little accent mark. I can go ahead and change this choke group. And I can put a little high pass filter on this. Go into my effects and add like a little delay. Just do that one. And we can see how this sounds. I've also got, if you look in here in this uh, events tab, uh, on my third uh, beat right there, I've got a messed up. 
chop. It didn't quantize the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to go into select. This one. Change that and just kind of nudge it over. I don't know if you can see this or not, but. So you can go in. Now, I always use adrenaline as my base a lot of the time, especially on this show. Uh, it's just a stock, stock bass sound. So you can go ahead and add a bass line to this. So I had a two bar because it's just it's a repeating pattern so that's pretty well gonna wrap it up thank you to DP for the question and video suggestion uh, this is way different than what I've been doing and yeah I'm happy to explain anything as far as like my process or just be making in general if you've got a question shout it out below and I'll try to get to it if you made it this far in the video thank you for taking the time out to watch this I really appreciate it it does mean a lot. I've uh, got beat tapes and uh, beats for sale link down below as well if you need beats or just want to listen to more of my work. And yeah, until next time, I'm Jay Adias. This is Jay Adias Fresh Produce, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. They're all right. More beats for sale and for listening on my website, jadiasgotbeats.one.